Hey, what's up guys? It is your girl, Coach Land, down here at AM Fitness in Plainville. So today I am bringing you another sneak peek into our large group personal training. The exercise that I am going to be showing you is a kettlebell pull through. So this is a core exercise. So we're gonna get ourselves situated in a plank. Now if we find a line on the ground, if we use these mats, we're gonna use this as just kind of a tactile reinforcement. So every time we come back down, we know that we're in a perfect plank. So I put my hands on the line, my shoulders are right on top of the line every single time. I've got the kettlebell on the ground right next to me. So my feet are about shoulder width apart. I wanna make sure that I have a nice, stable base of support. I don't want my feet in super tight because it's gonna make it really hard for me not to rock my hips around. So from here, my eyes, I'm gonna stay right in front of my fingertips and grab onto the kettlebell. I give it a good three second pull through. When we get to the end, we flip it around. Then I do the same thing on the other side. My hand went right back on the line, pull it through, and we're here nice and slow and under control. So the biggest thing here is making sure that when we pull, I'm not letting my hips come up, my shoulders aren't coming back past my wrists, I'm locked in in that good plank position. So if we need to, we can make this a little bit easier. We can always go with lighter kettlebells, but if we get to the point that even like the pink is a little bit too much for us, we always have the option, just putting our knees on the ground, we can accomplish the same thing here. Makes it a little bit easier for me not to rotate my hips and it's a lot less pressure on my core. Um, make it a little bit more challenging. We always go with the heavier kettlebells. We can always work on our time under tension. So if we're already moving pretty slowly as it is, we can kind of try to go a little bit slower. We can get a good four second count on the way through. We can even try to increase our range of motion, try to pull a little bit further. Um, another option that we have, if it's just a little bit too much with the kettlebell, if we just lock on and pull, we can just flip it around and we can do the same thing on the other side. Just get a little bit of a resistance on it so that it turns into more of an isometric pull through so we don't have to worry about actually moving it and our hips aren't going anywhere. So you'll see this in our large group personal training. So go ahead, check it out, and we'll see you guys later.